hey what's going on guys welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to create this really cool corporate style title animation inside hit film express All right so here we are inside hit film express so i just want to show you guys what we are uh, what you are actually going to you know take away from this tutorial so as you can see we have this box and this box is kind of overlapped on top of the text from the right side but if we look at the left side of this box it's under the same text layer so this is what you are actually going to take away uh, you know or learn from this tutorial uh, we are going to create this entire animation but the main thing is how do you know achieve this overlapped effect in this animation uh, let's get started I'm going to click on file create a new composition 1920 by 1080 60 fps click on start compositing we are going to create a new plane layer and call this background and we can let's give this color right here you can copy the code 2d 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 and click on ok to create this layer i'm going to drag in this uh, same plane layer from the media and just put it on top of this background layer let's just rename this to box all right so now i just want to create a rectangular mask right in the center uh, but before that let's just quickly apply a fill color on this layer and go to controls and just change the color of this layer to let's say red and click on ok to apply it now uh, with the layer selected um, and I'm going to highlight the viewer window you can just move your mouse cursor in the center and I'm just going to uh, type tap the R key on the keyboard to get the rectangular mask tool and I'm just going to click and hold click and drag and now I'm gonna tap the uh, maybe shift key or and the alt key together and create a, a perfectly proportional square shape just like that and uh, once you create that you can then uh, duplicate this mask right click on the mask and click on duplicate and on the second mask I am going to set the mode to subtract now let's expand the let's just expand the second mask go to shape and we will keyframe the expansion so just create a keyframe and let's just um, drag this value all the way to the left so let's just do something around maybe negative 70 now I also want to rotate the shape so uh, I can just do that in the transform of this of the box layer I can just set the rotation to 45 just like that and let's just go to the mask the second mask where we created our expansion keyframe and now I'm gonna move to uh, move forward to one second and set the expansion to let's say uh, let's uh, set that to negative 35 then I'm gonna select the keyframes convert the keyframes to manual bezier then go into value graph and now by holding the shift key I'm just going to drag this handle all the way to the left now your animation will look something like this all right so then we will go to transform again make sure you are let's just create a scale keyframe uh, at one second and now let's move our play ahead to the first frame and set the scale to zero select the keyframes come to the keyframes to manual bezier going to value graph so the shift key on the keyboard and just drag it all the way to the left and our animation will look something like that and also let's just go to mask uh, the expansion keyframes so I'll just uh, just move these keyframes um, to the right by about maybe at around 30 30 frames yeah, that should look good uh, move the move the keyframes to the 30th frame uh, your expansion keyframes should start at the 30th frame and then everything will look good okay so once you have the box animation now you can start creating your text so let's just click click on new layer then click on text and i'm going to select the text tool and type in um, corporate you can type in anything that you want there go to the text tab and uh, the font that i will be using is unisans also increase the font size 
I'm gonna change the font style to have italic caps all right so we have the text and now um, let's just rotate this by negative 7 just like that and I'm gonna rename this to car parade I'm gonna duplicate the text I'm gonna rename this to title titles um, and I'm just going to select the text titles layer the text layer I'm just, I'm just going to drag this down just like that double click uh, in fact we just have to triple click on this to select all the text and just type in titles just like that okay so far so good we have our text now we will just animate it so at one second let's just create keyframe for position let's just search for position create keyframe for both corporate text and the title text let's go back to one second and just move this down maybe somewhere over there do the same thing with the corporate text as well select the keyframes convert the keyframes to manual bezier then go into value graph hold the shift key and just drag it all the way to the left do the same thing with the corporate text keyframes so we will have something like that now I'll just maybe move these keyframes to the right by about 10 frames and I want the titles layer to come after the corporate so I just want a bit more you know difference in the keyframes so I'll just select the position keyframes of the titles layer the text layer and just move it to the right by about five or six frames so we'll have something like that okay so if we take a look at our entire animation it's gonna look something like that we can obviously play around with the positioning of the keyframes uh, to get the perfect animation now I just want to hide these uh, titles you can see it's uh, already visible from the beginning I just want it to be you know visible at this point in time so I can just um, go to the media just drag in this plain layer I'm gonna rename this to mask let's just hide this layer and I'm just gonna rotate this by the same amount of value that we rotated our text which is negative 7 and I'll just bring this down right in the center just below this corporate text and now in the effects I'm gonna search for the set matte and apply it on the corporate text layer and for this uh, let's just go to the controls set matte set the source layer to mask set the blend to subtract so now if we take a look at this it's not visible from the very beginning and it's just going to appear um, you know somewhere in between this animation just like that so we'll do the same thing with our titles here so I'll just duplicate the mask and this mask is going to be under our titles text like that uh, apply the set mat on the titles text layer set the source layer to mask to set the blend to subtract and that should be it so if we take a look this is our overall animation so I am I'm quite happy with that okay now I just want to you know create that overlapped uh, overlapped kind of thing in this animation so for that we will have to on the box layer We'll just right click on it and click on make composite shot we'll just select the current timeline and move clear option and click on ok and then let's just jump back to our main comp so we have the box comp shot and we are going to now duplicate that so control d to duplicate it and then the, now let's take the rectangular mask tool and just you know mask out the right side of this box just like that okay 
and we are then going to just simply um, invert this okay so click on invert mask and simply just uh, put this duplicated compo box composite chart on top of uh, your text layer just like that now as you can see uh, our box is overlapping one side of our text so we can uh, even put this in between these two text layers so it's just going to overlap the corporate text and not the titles text or we can go to the box composite chart and uh, let's just not invert this because I want the I want the right side of this box to overlap the text not the left side okay so um, I think that's it that's how you can create this animation inside HitFilm Express so I hope you learned something new in this video if you did please do like the video and also subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one